आज के इस टॉपिक के अंदर हम कवर करेंगे प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ स्टोरेज मोड क्लास के अंदर हमने स्टोरेज मोड की तीन टाइप्स को डिस्कस किया था इम्पोर्ट डायरेक्ट क्यूरी एंड ड्यूल मोड और इन तीनों टाइप की प्रॉपर्टीज हमने क्लास के अंदर एस थ्री कम्प्लीट की थी नाउ इन दिस टूटोरियल आई विल ट्राई टू डेमोस्ट्रेट दैट थियोरिकल एस्पेक्ट इन अ प्रैक्टिकल वे तो या फिर सबसे पहले हम हमारी एक्सेल की फाइल को कनेक्ट करवाएंगे उसके बाद हमारे पास सेम फाइल का सीक्वल सर्वर पे डेटा मौजूद है हम उसे कनेक्ट करवाएंगे एंड उसके बाद हम दोनों यानी एक्सेल और सीक्वल सर्वर के डेटा को आपस में कनेक्ट करवाएंगे और चेक करेंगे इम्पोर्ट की प्रॉपर्टीज को डायरेक्ट क्यूरी की प्रॉपर्टीज को और ड्यूल की प्रॉपर्टीज को सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन सबसे पहले हम आएंगे गेट डेटा पे एक्सेल वर्कबुक और एक्सेल वर्कबुक से हम अपने डेटा को कनेक्ट करवाएंगे और इस वक्त मैं यहाँ पे तीन शीट्स को कनेक्ट करवाऊंगा टू शीट्स विल पर्टेन टू दी डायमेंशन टेबल एंड वन विल बी पर्टेनिंग टू दी फैक्ट टेबल सो डायमेंशन टेबल के लिए मेरे पास मौजूद है स्टाफ डेटा क्लाइंट डेटा एंड इन लोड करवाते हम बस लोड हो चुके हैं लेट्स एंटर इन दी मॉडल व्यू और मॉडल व्यू पे हम इनकी अरेंजमेंट कर लेते टेबल्स की सो so, सबसे पहले मैं यहाँ पे स्टाफ को और क्लाइंट को टॉप कर रखूंगा बिकॉज दे आर माय डायमेंशन टेबल एंड इन वॉइस को इनके सेंटर में रखूंगा ताकि मैं टेबल की प्रॉपर्टीज को आसानी से चेक कर सकू ना अगर मैं नोट करूँ सो so मेरे इस टेबल के ऊपर देर इज नो बार द आइकन and if I click on any of the table and enable this property pen, the property pen के अंदर एडवांस में जाके मैं चेक कर सकता हूँ I have the storage mode import and the rest of the two modes are disabled. Now let's open a new project and this time we are going to connect the SQL server और SQL server के through हम इन तीनों tables को call करेंगे So let's click on get data SQL server सर्वर हमारे से हमारा सर्वर का नाम पूछ रहा है एंड माय सर्वर नेम इज मैं चूज कर रहा हूँ डायरेक्ट क्यूरी को एज माय कनेक्टिविटी मोड ओके माय सेल्स डेटा एंड फ्रॉम सेल्स डेटा आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट माय क्लाइंट टेबल माय सेल्स टेबल एंड माय इनवाइस टेबल The same table I selected when I was using the import as my connectivity mode. Load. और यहाँ हमारे पास तीनों table load हो चुके हैं. Now the first property that we learned was that in direct query mode, अगर आपका पूरा model direct query पे बना हुआ है, then you are not able to find the data view option. And here we can see we have only report view and the model view. There is no data view. Let's enter in the model view. Now we have a check. Constructed that we have the blue bars in front of us, and there is also change of icon on each of this table. Let's compare it with the another model. So we can see the import icon, and we can see the direct query icon. Both the connectivity mode has two different icons. Now, when I select the import in the tool tip, I can find the storage mode is my import. Whereas, if I select my direct query mode in the tool tip, I can find it's a direct query storage mode, and the data type is my SQL Server with the server name. Now, the second property is if I enable this property pane in the advanced. I can find the storage mode and I can find import as active, dual as active, right? Now let's enter in a third project. जहाँ पे हम इन files को आपस में direct query और Excel की मदद से call करेंगे. Excel से हम dimension table को call करेंगे और SQL Server से हम fact table को call करेंगे. So we have a new project in front of us. Let's call the dimension table from the Excel. Our dimension table is our client table and our staff table. So client table and staff table from the Excel file. 
Now let's import the SQL Server fact table. Get data SQL Server. Directory mode. Okay. And from here we will select the sales data and we will connect to our invoice table. Look. That pop-up passage was that I am now entering in a dual mode where I have connectivity with the import table and the directory. Both connectivity at the same time. Now let's click on this model view. We have the client table, we have the staff table and we have the invoices table, right? Again, if I select my table, I can find in the advance the property of import as the storage mode where is directory and dual are not available. If I select this stuff and go to advance, I can find import as the activity option directory and dual are not available to us. Whereas invoice which is my directory table if I click on advance directory and here we can find import and dual that means we can convert this storage mode in either import or in dual so now let's build the relationship so client id related to client id in the clients table asking for the relevant table and here we can see client id is relevant to our client id and we are going to use the one many to one cardinality cross filter is single don't worry about it in the upcoming session we are going to learn these properties press ok now staff id with the staff id connected the same pop-up will be appear to us ok and now one thing you should note if i go to this property box again we can see assume referential integrity is not available to us okay second thing let's enter in the data view if i select client table its data is available to us if i click on invoice the data is not available to us and we know that directly doesn't support the data view option similarly the staff we have data available to us now let's enter in the directory mode and let's build the relationship client with the client id the same pop-up window but this time note we have assume referential integrity option enabled to us let's enable this option and we will learn what this option is all about okay stop id to stop id and this time we are not going to enable this option press ok let's enter in the data view and this is not available to us why because this is direct query and let's check out the properties of this relationship in the import mode properties we can see assume referential integrity is not available to us that means if we are going to relate our import table either with the import table or either with the direct query table this option will not enable to us this option will only enable to us if we are going to connect direct query with the direct query in that case assume referential integrity will be enabled to us this option means that we are forcing power bi to connect our relationships based on inner joint. Now for the inner joint, remember the property that there should not be null values inside your data. Right? So we want our data to be more precisely available to us. In that case, we will use this option and this option will force Power BI to relate these tables based on inner joint. 
Now let's enter into our third model that was our dual table and this time let's change the storage mode of our invoice. So right now my mode is directory. I can choose dual. Again the same pop-up window is appear to us. Okay. And the property in the dual we have seen that there will be bar with dotted lines. Let's wait for a second and here we can see the dotted line in front of us. That means this table is now connected and is stored as a dual mode. Now what is meant by dual mode? In the dual mode Power BI will create a copy of this table into memory and will also use this table as a direct connectivity for the real time data flow. Now there are two different connectivities which connectivity should give preference will be decided by Power BI based on the relationship. Now what is this all about? We are again going to discuss this topic in detail in the upcoming session. Right now remember in the dual mode you have a copy of a table in the Power BI memory and also there is a real time connectivity between your tables. Right? Now from the dual mode we can convert again into import. So directly we can go to dual from directly we can go to import. Now from the dual we can again go to directly from dual we can again go to import. Let's click on import. Now in the import power query will break the real time connectivity that real time flow of the data and it will only keep a snapshot of the last updated record in the memory. And when we have changed this storage mode to import now we are not able to convert this storage mode to either directory or dual. So what's the key point? From the import, you can't change your storage mode to either directory or dual. Second, from directory, you can move to import or you can move to dual. From dual, you can move to directory, you can move to import, right? If you are connecting your tables based on directory, then you have an option to enable assume referential integrity. That means you are forcing Power BI to connect these tables based on inner join. And for that purpose, this table doesn't contain any null value inside it. Hopefully, the theory part that we have covered in the inside the classroom of storage mode is now more clear to you with this tutorial. Give your feedback. If you have any question, please let me know in the WhatsApp group. See you in the next session.